Okay, welcome back to more of Psycho Quest. And we're gonna be finishing off the bonus dungeon first. Now that we're better equipped to handle it. Yeah, so getting the Master Sword is, it's not required, but it really helps as you'll see why. Mainly having that ability to uh, pierce uh, pierce enemies. And again, you can hold sword beams now to uh, half health. This one is three Gleons, and you will already see why having the Master Sword is such a benefit in this place. Again, the fact that it's already stronger, you know, already a lot stronger than uh, the level four. But it's the piercing beams, because now you can hit more than one Gleok at a time. Okay, so here's a level 7, at least the first checkpoint. So we need fire, at least fire boomerang. Two Patrick twos, which with the uh, Master Sword kind of makes him look like a joke now. Because it looks like I can break the outer ring in one hit. And with the with piercing beams, yeah, I can break these guys a lot faster now. And two Patrick twos is almost no threat now. Just laughing as I go through that room. Look at this room, oh boy. Now you start throwing fire gleons in there. With a whole bunch of other regular gleons in them, man. But again, look at the piercing beam with the wreckage it's already doing. Size, look at that. You know, you imagine you just had a level 4 sword. How long is that going to take to get through that? Alright, so here's the level 7 checkpoint. Yeah, nothing in this room for whatever reason. I don't know if those are level 3s or level 4s. I can't really tell. I think those are 3s. Because they, they seem to be moving slower. And yes, another room of with a Gleok, and I don't know how many Gleoks are here, and more fire Gleoks to say the least. How much damage I'm doing for sword beam there. I'm just scooping up more heart pieces. Shield the, the bat roll because I have uh, piercing beams. And 
pick up the boss key. Oh, this one will be very friendly to go through. Oh, got some damage on. Whittle the rest of the rest of it down. Although I don't think you need to clear this room actually. that much anymore. Okay, this room can be interesting. There's a bunch of mirror robes in here. Here's your level 8 checkpoint. Uh, luckily you got a wide open room to work with. kind of freely maneuver with uh, hover boots and stuff. Yeah, just trying to find some space to uh, maneuver here. could use a uh, super quake but that's gonna be first gotta get some space and then you're gonna have to keep using super quake to keep all the other uh, mirror ropes stunned and another gliok room basically you get more fire gliok's in here basically Snuffed out most of the Gleox. Oh my goodness. Uh, again, just imagine doing this with uh, no Master Sword. And that's pretty much garbage. Imagine having to do this one at a time. Take out one Gleok at a time because that's what your sword beam is going to be good for at level 4 sword level. And you definitely want to have a Master Swords you're going through this. And here's the last Gleok room and you can see there is a white Gleok there. It is a super Gleok. Taking it out. Yeah, this is a pain in the butt to go through. Pretty much just tank through that room. Can't really maneuver that well. You have blocks up here as well. And, 
you, know, you, just, you really can't go in a circle. You can get a full heart container for your efforts. Now you notice I'm missing a spell. You'd think that would really help in this place, right? Oh, guess what? That's your reward for finishing this place. This is almost like a bit of trollage there. I mean, that would have really helped you going through this place, but nope, that's actually your prize for completing the bonus level. And you may actually need this for level 9, to be honest, the second half of it. Okay, so now that we got that done. Actually, there's something I can pick up while I'm at it. It's kind of easy to forget to go back to this thing. So may as well pick up this, uh, level 2 one. And I think you need 22 hearts? At least that's what I've been told. 22 hearts to pick that up. Uh, I think that is as strong as, in this case, my a level 4 sword. So it's only marginally stronger. second half of this place. It's pretty much another enemy gauntlet to go through. Mm, but seriously, bring uh, Nairu's love because that's probably going to help you out quite a bit in this place. Because it gets pretty nasty without it. That needs a, a master sword to open up. Okay, so this is the second half of level 9. And again, bringing Nairu's love is going to be a pretty good benefit to you because the very first room you go into, you got Death Knights. You got Death Knights in the very first room. Now, unless you want to get clever and try to stun them with your boomerang, if not, you're lucky enough to do that. Now, you'll be using a lot of magic in this place, so take advantage of any rooms that have a, a refill opportunities. This is actually one example, such a good room to get some magic back because these guys are going to respawn. So you get health refills, magic refills, take whatever you can get. And 
so you get plenty of high level potions in here so you don't have to worry about uh, running out of potions ever because uh, that's level three right there I just tank this out with the uh, fires And see, these guys are gonna respawn, so more chances for refills in case you need them. That way, you're ensure to stay pretty much fully stocked into the next set of rooms. This room is a whole bunch of fire blocks. Thank goodness for piercing sword beams because this would be a pain in the butt to do without it. Pretty much just absorb some hits. Just trying to find a safe spot to actually shoot your beam is next to impossible unless. But I can stall long enough to get my health back. Start whittling these fire gliots down. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, we got a death die in this room, but luckily I can stall the doorway. Just another refill room. Okay, this room just has two um, wooden stalfos. So those are just level fours, I guess. Uh, but when you see a room that looks this empty, uh, you might want to think twice before just walking into it. Very often you'll be greeted by some level 4 levers. Didn't I fight a whole bunch of you guys not long ago? Literally. Shot there. Okay, this room is actually a replica of the last one, two Patrick twos and a Patrick three. Now you're gonna see what the Master Sword does to this room. And the level four sword is actually a really difficult battle. You're pretty much gonna see what the Master Sword, how much difference a sword upgrade does here. By being able to pierce uh, the Patra rings. Look at this. I mean, this isn't even really a challenge anymore. Which is fine to have that much, you know, this type of room now because you have uh, appropriate weapons to deal with this. And the other side, you know, just it's just doing it little by little. No simple strategy for the other side, but this side you can just do piercing beams. And just, uh, just get rid of everything in this room. And 
Again, only two enemies there, but you know, you got more crap in this room. Seriously, that red candle is getting put to good use here. Okay, this room is basically a chance for refills. Uh, magic refills, mainly. Next room has four death knights. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this room out because trying to get clever with that is not going to work. And the problem is Nairo's Love uses a lot of magic. I think it uses three jars, even at double magic. Pretty much just zigzagging through these rooms, and oh boy. And look at how, look at this. Room filled up with blue lionels. Well, good chance to get some money, I guess. Refills, bombs, whatever you might need. This room looks a little bit too innocent. That worked pretty well. Yeah, you should pretty much should be picking up a pattern of this by now. Actually, we're gonna leave those arrows. Uh, you'll be using a lot of arrows in this next room. <laughs> yeah, I think there's like a half a dozen of these guys. Uh, at this point, just spam arrows. You just want to get damage on as fast as you can. How much damage I'm taking, I can I can just recover that all off. Okay, so a couple more down. Oh, I'm only down to one left. I didn't think I got rid of this room so fast. Yeah, I think there's only one left. Now, safe is to have at least a uh, any sort of quiver upgrade. You know, 60 arrows is enough. I'm gonna pick up gold arrows. And that's why they gave you the 30 arrows there. So I'll gladly take the refills. Good spot to get some refills. Now this is gonna be a fun room to 
go through. I can get killed maybe for three reason one hit. So. I don't care how many you can spawn now, I'm just gonna spawn them all in one hit. Well, I'll take the extra money. Okay, this room can be a really big pain in the butt. We get a level four potion. Level four potion there. And this next room is basically another refill room. Not complaining about that. Soon. Yeah, so you got pa uh no Patra, uh Goma Fours, Blue Blobs. I'm gonna see I feel these are easier than Goma Threes. Cause the fire only has limited range. It's just that they only can be hurt by gold arrows. And you get more arrows for taking out this room. Well, I'm probably good on supplies right now. I mean, I could just pick up one of the 30s. Yeah, this is just a big gauntlet of just... Uh, Room after room, so spam the door away whenever you can and just uh, don't 
be afraid to throw out your spells, basically. Because you'll find plenty of room for them, but that you can get refills in. This is a really weird room because actually the, the sword can actually get into the doorway. to the right leads to the end, and we're not gonna go that way yet. Go, uh, take this little detour. And luckily magic is really not an issue because I'm getting refills in most of the rooms. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna just try to get the tank this out. Just, you know, again, a couple dins fires. You know, cleans up the room very nicely. chances for uh, magic refills. You might need it for the next room. This next room is kind of nasty. Uh, basically, get your Nairo's love ready. You might need it. So you go down here, and you have two Death Knights and a Summoner. A Death Knight Summoner. Come on, I'm going after that Summoner first. That Summoner is gonna go down. The last thing you need is for it to start you know, making more Death Knights appear. I think it makes it like multiples at a time, so you know, get rid of that thing first. If I have to use a Nairu's Love again, then you know, that's fine because I can refill in the next uh, room above. Okay, Gold Ring. So like this room, you know, I just get back into the safety and then I can just start taking out all these guys. Get all my magic back there. Okay. This is a big shortcut. Yeah, that's a huge shortcut there, because it takes you right back to the start. So you can get right back to pretty close to the end with that. Okay, so... I'm actually not gonna finish off this yet because there's actually some more stuff we can get. I'm gonna pretty much warp back to the start, actually. So now that we got uh, pretty much everything out of level 9, I'm uh, going to take a break here. And there's actually a few more optional things we can pick up uh, now that we pretty much have everything else. 
and we'll start showing that in the next part, and we might actually be able to finish this. We'll see how long there's some bonus dungeons, see how long they take. Alright, see you guys later.